Hi, welcome to Polydor Way channel, a channel dedicated to stylized 3D game art. So today I have a simple trick but a useful one, so we can create faster our substance graph. We are gonna to create a template that we can use to start our substance graphs. I will create a new graph. I will create an, an empty one. I will create a, a, a template that I will use, for example, to create some VFX texture. So let's put here VFX. Template. So now that we create uh, our graph, let's make some outputs. So for this graph in particular, I will create two outputs, one for my color. Action. Let's create a label. Action. And let's copy it. And the second one, I will create a uh, So now that we create our, our both output, let's make a blend node. A uniform color. Let's put a gray color. Link to our color output and the mask we'll create another uniform color but this one will be grayscale and we'll connect to this blend and the blend will be connected to the mask I like to connect this uniform color and this blend because build the actual mask using this template I can for example delete this uniform color and connect here in this dot and the whole connection will already be made because we have this blend already connected to the mask cool so now that we have made our template, we will save this package. Let's save here in my folder, templates, VFX template. I save my package. So to make this template available in our new Substance Graph window, we will go to it, preferences. I will select the project tabs and here in general I will add this folder that we saved our template package. Select, apply, OK. Let's close this package. I will create a new one. And now my template is here and I can use it to create my materials, my, my substance graphs. In this case, I will use to create my VFX textures. It's very useful because we can create our own templates 
or make your own outputs. So you can use this in our specific projects. For example, I have a game engine template that I usually use in my in my graphs because I may I, I have the current PBR outputs. So I made these two specific outputs specifically for the unit game engine because he expects a color map with the transparency in the alpha channel of this texture and I make a, a, a another packet texture so I can have my metallic, my roughness and my ambient occlusion texture package in one image file. So it's very useful. It's a simple trick, but it's a very useful one when you are in production. So that's it for today. So if you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe to see more in the future. Thank you and have a nice day.